take... You? You? Yes. I want you to run up here and just harass these guys, get them out of the way. Okay, cool. Uh, moving around, so the camera's not, or the timer's not moving. Um, I don't know if we killed anybody with that uh, hit. Doesn't, doesn't really look like it. There's no massively damaged troops. Hmm. Can I actually get you guys to deploy up here like that? Let's do that. I might be able to uh, skim that line, that part of the wall. What are you doing, guys? We lost four. We've almost completely destroyed them. They're certainly not going to survive. What's this wall? 31%. Awesome. Uh... Things look to be good over there. No one looks overly injured. The walls are doing fine. What's this? What are you doing? No, you're gonna get yourself killed. Be a great stupid thing. Get over there. Um, I'll watch this wall a little bit while the uh, cannons work to get in place. That at 42. Kick up the speed a little bit. Uh, you guys can retreat for now. Don't want you just standing near the enemy. Quicken up the speed. The hill, please. I'm curious as to how I'm going to actually be able to take the fort. Because um, I am going to try to apply pressure to both sides. Especially if I have two gaps, maybe even four if I get really patient. Um, I've never actually thought of doing this. It might be advantageous to... Uh, um, oh, did we pull that down already? No, we didn't. I guess... I don't know why you're all half damaged then. Whatever. Um, I guess it damaged it enough to injure them. Uh, whatever. Um, it might actually be a good idea to like maybe just run some guys into the HQ or into one of these armories or barracks. Okay. Uh, pull that out. Is this in range? Uh, no. I've actually put these guys into a worse position. So you can't see if we can't have them tear down this wall first, though. There we go. Ruin that. Pack it up. I'm going to want you guys to deploy there. Is the elevation good there? Deploy like that. So I'm not going to be in any real danger uh, from this turret. Okay. And you, my friend. We've lost one of the cannons, apparently. That sucks. Aim there. 
Because, you know, look, they're clogging that up. I don't blame them. I mean, it's a smart, smart decision. Um, I think I'll be somewhat safe advancing. Going over here, we're doing fine. Gonna speed up the move a little bit, or it's gonna go into that weird laggy. Everyone's advancing phase, which is always fun, I'm sure, for you guys. Um, let's see if we can't just watch this wall fall down and let the computer think about how all those troops are gonna move. So if I can knock this down, that would be a massive blow to them. Especially if I can knock it down with all these troops standing on it. Uh... Come on. There we go, camera. Just to switch it from moving fast to... Or from, yeah, moving at regular speed to moving fast and vice versa. Okay, fine, take the long way, see if I care. It's not like lives are on the line here, people. I might, and I think I will, at this point just kind of edit out this middle bit uh, while everyone's trying to get into position and the game's chugging like something awful. Um, I'll edit this bit out and see you back once uh, the action kicks up again. So give me just a minute. Alright, ladies and gents. Uh, it looks like I'm about to drop the other part of the wall. Uh, it's been really quite a long time. Uh, you are, uh, promised me whether you, or I promise you, whether you know it or not, you're very glad that I stopped recording. Uh, because, oh my god, this has taken very forever. Um, no amount of fiddling with the speed has made this uh, any less uh, <laughs> any less of a long, drawn-out slog. Uh, so this wall looks like it's about ready to come down. Uh, it isn't coming down already. I thought I heard some impacts. So that might have been this clipping the indestructible part of the wall. Either way... Um, now that we are back in the fight, uh, I am going to start moving these guys forward as such. Now that they just spent the last hour standing around picking their nose. What are we doing over here? Oh yeah, that's not even good. I'm not even going to bother with that. I don't have the time or the patience. I don't have to be willing to deal with that. Well, these guys are moving and the game's going to start chugging again because, God forbid, it has to think about more than three things at the same time. Um, I'm going to spin wildly in a circle. Uh, that's the first thing. Important part of my strategy, that. Um, I'm going to start shifting these guys down. Grab these two, group them, and then take you, 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 and I want all of you in a pretty little chorus line right over here. Just like that. Did we drop that bit of the wall yet? Uh, yes we did. Nope. No, we did not. Drop that bit of the wall, please. Our troops are counting on you, Cannon. Party, whatever you wish to be called. Who are these guys? Citizens. Okay. This doesn't look like any of my bombardments have destroyed any units of consequence, which, you know, can live with, I suppose. Um, 
My idea being, as we bring these guys up uh, for the rest of this fight, uh, split them again, have maybe um, one or two of them go actually into the breach, um, more depending if it, that, if it doesn't look like they're going to really respond to the breach being there, have the rest go over the walls on this side, to come down, capture this, and move forward. Is this destroyed yet? Come on, man. You know, I'm gonna feel dumb saying this, but I think it's Fraps that's actually slowing down my computer's rate of doing anything. Which I suppose makes sense, because the computer actually has to think about, you know, recording what it's doing, as opposed to just, you know, doing it. 99%. Come on, dude. Like, someone go up and, like, Shake a stick at it and it'll fall over. Or a cannonball. Cannonballs would work too. There we go. Oh no! Hey look, it's a Harlem Shake video. Look at that. And <laughs> these guys just kind of falling over too. Alright, well, you just had an awful turn to your day. Um, not that, didn't really lose that many, though. Oh, they lost more. The, uh, the proper regiment actually lost a fair number of troops. Alright, I'm gonna slightly tire these guys out of just a touch. Um, just to, uh, get them up there a little bit quicker. You guys are good. Um, cease fire. Um, yeah, there's no real need for you to keep doing what you're doing quite yet. And you guys are going to push up, and at that point I will decide if I'm going to run round, or if I'm going to, uh, keep, just push everyone through the gap, uh, in the wall. Fun times. Alright. You guys are moving slow as molasses. This whole game moves slow as molasses on siege battles. I have almost a mind, if they weren't actually fun and actually worth doing, unlike in Medieval, uh, I might just not bother um, with them anymore. Although, I don't know, again, I actually do enjoy playing them as much as they are a massive pain to uh, fight through. Anyway. I think I'm going to cut it again and wait for people to, to get up there and I'll restart it again once the action gets caught up. So, just a minute. Alright, back again. Uh, after, I think this is the second cut in the game, it's been a while. Um, I went to the bank, I made a sandwich, I cleaned my car, all sorts of stuff in the time it took for these units to get up here. Um, <clears throat> uh, what I do have going on, though, is these guys are being bottlenecked, but these guys are beelining for this building... Um, just to have a base of operations in the town, whereas the rest of the unit is freaking out behind them, apparently. You, you know what? Just do this. Just do that. See, does that make it easier? That's the direction that I want you people to go. Um... So we are at the point of actually, hopefully, maybe, perhaps, invading uh, and getting through. Um, this has just been absolutely exhausting, though. Just sitting here and letting it tick over uh, with that. And I've, like, you've seen the, the siege battles get a little bit laggy before, but I have never seen it this bad. Um, this is absolutely dreadful. And they're pulling down the... Uh, Oh, the firelock citizens. I'm surprised they're not pulling in the uh, the proper troops. But oh well, I'm not in charge, I guess. Got 
Can I can you give me the thing? Like that. Oh. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Uh, yeah, this has actually been getting hammered pretty good. It's at 96%. This little bit's going down, and it looks like a good portion of about three units are going to be dead in the next uh, couple seconds. Any amount of speed you'd like to put on that lands would be appreciated. And we'll take... Nine, nope. Eight. Eight. Post you up this way. Seven. Post you up this way. Because that's going to come tumbling down here in just a second. Maybe. Perhaps. I don't die of old age first. Okay, we're finally in the castle. Or in the castle. <laughs> yep. Uh, you're playing medieval. Uh, no. Uh, you're finally inside the walls of the fort. Just barely. The drummer! Look at the drummer and the captain. And then the flag bearer. Look at them go. It's actually kind of a cool screenshot. Except for this guy who's glitching out. Um, watching all these guys pour in. It's actually kind of cool. And of course they're being shelled. Getting shot up. Oh no! Let's zoom in on this. Oh, I guess there's some perks to slow-mo. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Whee! Look at him fly! <laughs> again! Do it again! Do it again! Uh, so I hope you're all sad now that a lot of your friends have died. It's not as much fun for me unless you're sad. Oh wow! Took out 50 of the Grenadier Regiment. Uh, about half of that line infantry regiment. Uh, a little over half of that uh, Firelock citizenry regiment. So yeah, that's just gone super fun. And they're running to plug that gap. That's cool. Alright, cannon. I'm actually going to pack you guys up. I'll pack both cannons up, because it's not like I'm going to really be using them for much else. Get out of here. You also get out of here. There's no sense in you guys sticking around. Because you're not really going to contribute anything from this point forward. They're scrambling troops around. These guys are going to try and probably succeed at... At least harassing. I wouldn't say they're going to totally intercept my guys as they're coming in, but, uh... Yeah. They're, they're certainly going to catch one or two of the regiments and just force them to sit here and poke them for a while until uh, the actual regiment gets in. But we should be able to take out these uh, horsemen pretty readily. <clears throat> and... Look at these guys, those superiors. Yeah, they are. Okay. Got those horse coming up. Got these infantry coming up. I've got you guys. So I've got you. Oh, bother it. Screw it. <laughs> Don't even care anymore. The game's gonna be this fussy about doing anything, then I'm not gonna bother my nose. Well, looks like they're turning around on us. It looks like we've also gotten most of our forces inside the fort before they've really uh, had a much a attempt, chance, reason. I don't know what the word would be, but much effort at uh, trying to stop us. So I'm just going to take you guys. I'm going to switch in the direction that you're going, because I'm assuming those line infantry are probably going to engage, and not just, you know, stand there. 
Could be wrong. But I'm hoping that I'm not. Okay. I want you guys deployed over here. I'm gonna deal with those cannons. Oh, Germans are moving. Octong. Get in there and take the fort. Horse regiment's gonna intercept. These guys have been caught up. All right, so now we've actually got a battle on our hands as opposed to a slow moving mess. These guys are getting held up and pushed. It doesn't look like they're properly being attacked. You guys aren't bothering to face the right way. So I suppose you're not overly bothered that we're in your fort. Which, you know, I'm not going to alert you to the fact or uh, take that away from you. I'm trying to see if their uniforms look different. Because this is... This is a regular line. These are superiors. I guess it looks like they got the a little bit more white or the shoulder patches or something. I don't know. No, oh well, whatever. Do not forget your objective. Capture the goal. Capture the objective. Leave everything else alone. Because there's no need to go after it. Oh look, one of the units is routing. Is that the... Yeah, those are the Grenadiers. Or at least they've gotten all fussy and whiny. Which again, good reason. Not gonna, you know, berate them for it. Too much. Okay, you guys... Unbox. Unbox. It was a mistake. I want you guys to fix bayonets. And go after these guys, just to keep them off of us so that we can move into this. Oh, thank you, God. Finally getting involved in the conflict, or getting the timer going. Uh, so, it says a minute and 53. As I'm sure you can notice from the counter at the bottom of the page, um, real time is moving really rather slower than that been about 20 seconds, uh, I think, as opposed to just around 10. But, either way, um, we've got, we've got forces in, most of these guys are going to be able to screen the Prussians that are trying to relieve the flag, we've got them more or less cut off. These horse are going to be absolutely useless to defend it. Um, these guys, oh, our horses are coming in now. Uh, these guys are really kind of screwed. So, yeah. Hooray! Hooray for winning. I know we're being shelled. Uh, was this fifth? Yeah. Kill them. All I want is you in melee mode. Just get in here and beat these guys up. Just beeline that hole. Over here, we've got a massive melee going on. Again, these guys, uh, their objective is holding up these forces, not allowing them to reinforce. Same over here, uh, whilst these other units capture the flag. Uh, so I'm kind of sacrificing these, but this position is a critical position. Um, if only, again, because it's breaking, it's forcing the Prussians to break over that line. Uh, 
and not allowing them to get close to the flag to relieve it. Um, I forget what the uh, Empire is a little bit more picky about the um, occupying the town square kind of thing um, that Medieval had. Uh, dear, forcing our units to rout. Uh, grenadiers, get over here. I need more men covering this particular side. Because these guys are getting a little bit scared. So we're going to cover them a little bit better. Um, anyway, Empire's a little bit more picky about the, uh, the range and the amount of troops that are allowed to be in the circle. Uh, oh, we got their captain. That's nice. Um, rather than medieval. Medieval is actually pretty lax on that. Um, and the area of the town square and the or the ratio of troops you had to have in the town square was a lot more favorable uh, for the attacker uh, than it is in um, Empire. Certainly a little bit more um, uh, defensively favored in Empire. Move up. We've got another minute left. Uh, I have no idea how much time has actually passed. Uh, <laughs> leave me a comment in the comments section right now and let me know how much time has actually elapsed in this one minute that the game thinks is going by as opposed to the, I'm sure, much longer amount of time that is actually going by. Okay, we've got these guys pushing in. Hey, things are moving at a regular rate now. God knows why it's decided to start doing that, but it has done. Hooray! Raise that British flag. 29 more seconds. Uh, one of my horse units has gone all crazy. He gets shot up. Where is this guy? Oh, uh, it's one of the guys that got stuck in the, the brawl. Well, I don't blame him. But he did his job. He stood and fought and did the job that I needed him to do. So I am not going to be overly bothered by the fact that he's running away at the moment. And there we go. One... Two minutes passed. We finally captured this fort. This battle is, as you probably have noticed already, going to be seriously edited uh, for time. And we're going to end this awful battle. Alright. Go team. Okay. Um, yeah, wow. Only lost 300 men in that particular fight, so... As slow as it was, it turned out pretty good. So we've destroyed the Prussians. They are no longer a threat to us. Taking Brandenburg. Everyone in Brandenburg is livid. Even if I take the tax rate down, still going to have problems. Taking Saxony, which is already noticed. Uh, Frederick Albertson, is that you? It is. Look at you. Getting mentioned in dispatches like a pro. All right. Um... I might still, this might part might be slightly short, uh, but I am personally exhausted after that uh, particular engagement. Um, and also, I'm running out of free time for the day. So, uh, I'm going to call it here. Uh, we'll see what the game has in store for us next time. Um, bits of strategy that I'm going to be looking toward. Uh, I might work at building up... Uh, once I get these uh, areas fixed back up, uh, which is going to be a considerable priority, um, but once that happens, uh, I might start training another army out of uh, Munich. The reason for that being, um, uh, I've got one, two, three, four armies out in this region, um, and I've got, actually, can I pull you guys out? Probably can. Yeah, because that's going to be burnt down next turn, so you're not going to be too too bothered, really. So let's put you guys over there. Take you guys. Join you up. Um, so next turn, these this army is going to march on Lisbon and take that out. 
uh, and then hopefully secure that fairly quickly and free that army up so that we can just march it uh, eastward against our enemies in that region. Maybe I'll keep using that army to fight the Spanish, or I might bring them in here. But either way, the uh, reason I'm considering training another army is because in this particular part of the world, uh, as you saw, I, I was very easily able to um, settlement hop, and I don't want to leave myself open to the same opportunity um, from the Poles, or especially now down south, uh, and uh, from the uh, former Ottoman territories down here, uh, from the Russians. So I'm going to have to try to um, level things out here before I start trying to push toward the direction of um, another settlement. Uh, and I want to keep a couple of forces as gar a permanent garrison forces, or maybe not permanent, but rear garrison forces, um, so that I can continue to just kind of, you know, leapfrog from, you know, okay, you got, you move forward, and then you'll jump up here, and then you move forward, and then you'll jump up here, and so on, as we kind of push uh, west and, to some extent, south as well. Um, perhaps even invading Italy, should the mood take us. Um... But that's where we'll leave off for the day. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this, uh, especially that last kind of odd battle. Um, and yeah, if any questions, comments, concerns, do feel free to leave those in the comments section as always. Thank you very much for watching, and you have a lovely day.